hi friends welcome to our channel so in case if you are new to this channel so please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification so now let us let us get into the our today video so now in this video we are going to discuss about types of variables in java so there are three types of variables in java the first one is local variable and the second one is instance variable and the third one is static or class variable so in this video we are going to discuss about these three types of variables in java so we'll see you one by one by our program so first we will see what is local variable if i am declaring any variable inside a method or a block so then it will be a local variable so if i am declaring any variable inside a method or inside a block i may declare a variable inside a method or i may declare a variable inside a if condition or inside a loop statement so if i am declaring any variable inside a method or a constructor or a block then i will say it's a local variable so what is the scope of this local variable so the local variable will be visible only within the block where we have declared so for example as per this code i have declared this variable a inside a main method so a is the local variable and inside this main method it will be visible if i try to access this variable a from outside of this main method i will be getting the error yes yeah, the scope of local variable is within the block only it will be visible how to access this local variable to access this local variable i can use the variable name itself so for example i want to display the value of a which is local variable so i can directly access this local variable by using the variable name itself inside the block so it will print 10 so this is about local variable so i am summarizing the point once again if i am declaring any variable inside a method or a block it will become a local variable how to access the local variable i can access the local variable by using the variable name itself and what will be the scope of this local variable only within the block which we have declared inside that block it will be visible so now we'll go the second type second one is instance variable so instance is nothing but object if i am declaring a variable in a class code for example i am declaring a variable let it be b in a class code then i will say it is a instance variable so instance is nothing but it's a object so finally i can say this variable b is the instance variable or i can say it's a object variable so instance variables are 
tied with the object so instance variables are tied with the object so which means if i want to access this instance variable i need to create a object of the particular class i'm just creating object of my class and by using that object i can call my instance variable so i will say object dot that variable name so this is a way to call instance variable so this will print okay. so i'm summarizing the point about instance variable so if i am declaring a variable in a class scope so if i am declaring a variable in a class scope then it will become instance variable so instance variables are tied with the object so which means if i want to access this instance variable then i need to create a object of that class and by using that object i can call my instance variable and the third one and the last one is static or class variable i will declare the static variable in a class scope like our instance variable so both instance variable and the static variable so both we will declare in a class scope but what is the different the static keyword or the class variable will come with the keyword static now it's a static variable yes i am declaring with the keyword static so the meaning of static keyword is this particular variable is not tied with any object so instance variables are tied with the object right instance variable are tied with object but static variables are not tied with object it is something like a global to all the object in a particular class so already we know for each class i can create a number of object so for example i have created object opj so for this opj i have a copy of instance variable individual copy but the same way if i have one more object opj1 and opj1 also will come with its own copy of instance variable so that's why each object will take a individual copy of instance variable so let us take a employee each employee will come with their own employee id so each employee will come with their own employee id in a particular organization so finally each employee object will maintain its own copy of instance variable employee id for the employee one i have a separate copy of instance variable employee id for employee 2 i have a separate copy of employee id yes each employee will have their own employee id in a particular organization so finally coming to this employee object employee id is the instance variable it has to tied inside the object but what about the organization organization name for example let me take the organization abc inside abc organization each employee will have individual copy of employee id but they have a common organization called abc so that is was static variable so finally if i take a employee object employee id is the instance variable and the organization name can be a static or class variable
so finally the static variables are global to all the object in a particular class so finally because of the static variable it is going to make a global copy it is going to make a global copy of or single copy of variable c and each object is going to share this copy right each object is going to share this copy so that's why i can say it's a static or i can say it's a class level variable so now how to access this static variable since static variables are not tied with object it is not inside object it is global to all the object in a particular class so which means we no need to create object i can call the static variables by using the class name itself class dot i static variable c so it will print this is a way to call the static variable but we have two more ways but this this is a recommended way so we will be accessing by using class name but we have two more ways i'm just trying to say that two way also you can call the static variable by using the variable name itself also you can call the static variables by using object also you can see the moment i call my static variable by using object i'm not getting the error but you can see i'm getting the warning right you can see it is saying that the static field my class dot c should be accessed in a static way so it's not a error it's a warning we as you know for static variable uh, we no need to create object but still i am trying to call by using object that's why i am getting the warning so finally this is the recommended way so usually we used to call static variables by using class name so friends hope it's clear so these are the three different types of variable in java let us run this code and we'll check our output also so first time it is displaying local variable 10 and it is displaying instance variable 20 and three times it is displaying my static variable yes we have invoked static variable three times So hope friends, it's clear. So if you like this video, so please subscribe and click on the bell symbol. Also, you can share it with your friends.